Hi, Ken Block here. Welcome to Nelson, BC, up in Canada. I just spent four days up in these mountains at Bald Face Lodge, which is an absolutely amazing snowcat lodge. And it was the first time I took my Ford Raptor tracks up into the backcountry and experienced powder with it. So uh, I'm here to give you a little tour of that and tell you the whole story of it. So we built this truck because uh, I love to snowboard in the backcountry. And there's several ways to do that, you know, helicopters, snowcats, snowmobiles. And I thought this would be an innovative to do it quite quickly, faster than a snowcat, but not as expensive as a heli. So Ford was very helpful in giving me a nice Raptor with a cage. And then my Hoonigan Racing team outfitted it with everything that I wanted to be able to go out and snowboard in the backcountry. So the engine is a 6.2 liter Raptor engine with a Whipple supercharger on it. It puts out roughly 650 horsepower. So the most obvious change are the tracks. So these are mat tracks. They're like a tank track made to go on tarmac, mud, gravel, uh, but especially snow. Each one of these is roughly 350 pounds. The whole suspension and everything has been modified with an off-road type suspension. There's king shocks in here to handle the load of how much these things weigh on each corner and all the types of impacts that we encounter up cruising around on the cat roads. As you can see on the roof and on the front of the truck, we have a very nice set of rigid lights. These things are amazing. We're able to light up uh, the roads and everywhere we go in the back country at night. You know, it's really imperative to be able to see and be able to carry momentum through a lot of these roads so you, you don't get stuck. So uh, this light setup has uh, been quite amazing. Also on the front of the truck, uh, you can see, you know, a large skid plate here. There's some underbody protection also. Uh, it's really imperative that when we're cruising along on the, the cat roads and even dipping into the powder that the thing is able to actually float. Uh, we try and get as little resistance as possible from the underbody so that uh, the thing can move forward as quick as possible. Obviously on top of the vehicle you will see a storage rack system. You know we have a lot of things to carry into the backcountry, including toolkits, shovels, you know, an ax, a chainsaw, you know, in case, you know, we get stuck somewhere and have to cut something down to, to get out, uh, or in case we're building a jump and we need to cut down part of a tree. So, you know, it's a very nice tool set up up there. On top of that, we have a barbecue that actually attaches to the rear of the truck. So we want to bring up some burgers or uh, hot dogs, we just attach the barbecue to the back of the truck and Wieners for everyone. away. The wiener tracks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, here on the interior, you will notice that we have a very nice roll cage that protects uh, the cab, and that roll cage actually extends out to the exterior and all the way through into the back. We have some very nice Recaro race seats. Uh, with a four-point harness system. So the transmission is a stock, shiftable automatic gearbox. Most of the rest of the interior in the front is actually stock, but the, the back, obviously, with the big roll cage, the seats have been taken out, and we have a ton of storage for the things that we need to take in the back country. So we have a bunch of spare snowboard gear, we have camera equipment, and there's actually a, a cooler over here in the middle that we take whatever food we're taking in the back country for the day, along with, you know, cans of monster and water and all that sort of thing. We have snowboard racks on both sides of the truck that hold four snowboards. This truck is basically set up to carry around four people. Now someone has to drive it back and forth so we can alternate who's driving it, but to be able to shuttle from the bottom of the run up to the top of the run, three guys can come down and snowboard. So we have room for easily for snowboards here on the racks and we can also put snowboards in around other places if we need more. Now around on the back, two more Recaro seats, 
uh, with another set of four-point harnesses. Very nice to sit back here, although it gets a little windy, a little, a little snowy because the tracks do kick up a lot of snow. We have some typical safety equipment like fire extinguishers. We actually have a wakeboarding rope right here set up so we can tow people around. And actually we have a couple shovels here. We actually had to take these off to do some digging today. These are usually mounted to the roll cage. So for a stereo unit, we're actually using the stock setup inside the Raptor, but we've added some amps, some more speakers, and these waterproof speakers out back. So, you know, want to make sure that when we're out building jumps or hanging out having lunch that we have a very nice musical experience back here. And the last thing really to point out on this truck is a, a winch back here. You never know when that might come in handy when we're uh, stuck into a snowbank, because that, that type of thing does occasionally happen. Uh, just trying to stay out of the snow, you know? <laughs> All right, well, that is it. I hope you enjoyed my little tour of my uh, amazing toy. And if you haven't seen it, go on YouTube and see the actual video of this thing in action from Baldface Lodge.